This movie time is brought to you by the Gateway Film Center, 1550 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. For the details and showtimes online at gatewayfilmcenter.org. The award-winning It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Kevin Carr. And this is It's Movie Time. <laughs> it is. And Kevin? Uh, it's Oscar time. And, and the nominations have been out. Yes. And... You and I are about ready to weigh in on those nominations. And I weigh. And so, yeah, uh, I don't know. The I'm interested in what didn't. Yeah. But I'm I'm interested from you if there's anything you thought of that they missed in the best best picture. <sighs> well, you know, the, the, not really. I mean, it, it, to me, in general, this entire this entire award season about these Oscars in general, with minor exceptions, it's completely predictable. <laughs> And not surprising whatsoever. I mean, you could have written, somebody could have written down, and you're going to miss a couple things. Like, I don't know if everyone would have said Viggo Mortensen for... That's best, correct. That's the right. Best actor. But none of these are real surprises. Okay. So, so Kev, you and I have mentioned more than once how much we like Lobster. And yeah. That's, out, that's, out, that's not even close. Well, but that got, a, that got original screenplay. Well, I know, but I'm talking best picture. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, no. won't no. get it. And no. a couple of the others that I thought might have had a chance... Mm -hmm. um, Swiss Army Man. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't, wouldn't have a chance. That's so bizarre. <laughs> I know, I know. A parting Daniel Radcliffe is not going to get an Oscar nomination. But, Kev, here's one I think we could say. Mm. Sully? I do. Uh, yeah, I got my, my hat in, in oh, there solidarity. Oh, yeah, Sully. Yeah. yeah, that didn't make it. I mean, it was neat that, that Mel Gibson was nominated for director yes, and got Hacksaw Ridge as, right. as a Best Picture, which which is kind of a... You don't always get that. And there were, what, nine pic best picture Nine movies. best out of ten. I generally don't like to use the term snub because that implies that somebody on that list shouldn't have been there. Right. And and I think you're going to make a hard case for that because in, in, in like all the other categories. Except for best picture where they could have done ten, but they're they like, done, right. we could have done Sully, but no. <laughs> they won't. And they, Not you. And they don't have Eastwood as a director. No. For uh, no. So that's... Uh, uh, and I'm also... Also interested that Denzel didn't make it as a director nominee. Yeah, I mean, it's um, I, I, he he definitely could have. I'm not surprised he didn't, just okay. because you do have that narrowed down to five. Okay, you know, right. since you do have the five, but but yeah, I think the one thing that in terms of best picture, and it's, I'm not saying that it needed to be on there or got snubbed for this, but um, it, in me saying that these are the most predictable Oscars in years. They there was also buzz early that maybe they would have thrown in something like Deadpool for better. It wasn't going to win. I Best thought Picture. Deadpool might slip in there yeah. too. They they would never have won. Hey, but listen, it, it made three hundred million dollars. Well, at least they could have been like, look how hip we are. Oh, We're the know. Academy. You're right, you know? right, right, right. Uh, as we look it over, and I know we want to hit other categories. Sure. The black issue from last year. Oh yeah, yeah. Oscar so white. Yeah, uh, is that. Do you think with these nominations? No, not I mean, look, you got very not not only the actors, you know, like actors and actresses like Viola Davis, Octavia Spencer, Ruth Nega. You've got Denzel, Denzel Washington yeah. in there, but you also got Barry Jenkins and all the old accolades for Moonlight. Um, that that so it's definitely a diverse nominee list. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, and it may be different in February when it comes out with the actual awards. You don't have very many Hispanics or Asians, but I mean, no, no, right, we're yeah. working on it. Um, Kev, also in actors. Yeah. Uh, are you happy with that? Yeah, I am. I mean, it's um, the, the thing is, part of it is I think it's so it's so weighted in Casey Affleck's uh, I know, favor. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the way it is. Same thing with Matt and Natalie Portman for Best Actress and Viola Davis for Best Supporting Actress. Everyone else has to, you know. I mean, you can have an upset, but it seems like, yeah, these people got nominated, but it, Casey's going to win. Okay, <laughs> but I now. I think, I feel Isabel mm. Huppert creeping up with Elle. She has a chance. I she know. certainly does. I, I, I think it's a lot of it's how much traction Jackie has, because it's in a rollout right now. Yes, it's right, just opening. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. right. Um, the, well, if, as long as we're on the category of best actress, yeah. you know who was left out. That's well, everyone's saying so, Amy Adams. That's, there that's are two. One that, that is right. Yeah. There are two. The other one? Annette Benning. Annette Benning, yeah. I, I am really disappointed in that. Yeah, well, I mean, especially after seeing uh, that, that that 20th Century Women got, what was it, best, uh, was it a best screenplay nomination? Something like that. I believe. But so that, it's not that that was completely left out of the running. No. So it's in there, 
But that's why I don't want to call it a snub. Because can you really sit there and say, well, you know, Michelle Williams shouldn't be on that list. And that's but, true. You know, that's, yeah. And you're right. There's a question. Now, let's just say it's all... Sorry, no, she was supporting my, my bad on that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, at least it's all in the family because mm. Warren Beatty didn't get any nomination. No, I wasn't expecting. Well, I, I, I wouldn't have expected. I thought maybe supporting. Yeah, or Howard Hughes. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I can see rules that. Rules don't apply. But I think that his time's over. I know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just wondering about Annette Benning. What is there? You know what the problem is? Not enough people see it. Yeah, well, that's true. I mean, that is, when they put that out, they do not put that out wide, at least as far as I'm concerned. It, 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 people well, didn't never even heard of it. You're talking about rules don't apply or 20th century women. 20th century. 20th century women. Well, part of that is, well, it's it's uh, it's A24, I believe. So that's a smaller, but, but, you know, they got enough people seeing Moonlight, but Moonlight got such traction, you know? Moonlight really, really kind of stuck around. And the fact, but you're right, they released it earlier. They they didn't they didn't give it a March release but they gave That's it right. a fall release so you had time to to, uh, to to know that that was out there. 20th Century Women seemed held back. I mean we yeah. they screened it for us but it was like months ago and yes. then it opened yeah months later. Yeah. Um, and let's let's talk a little bit then about actors again. Mm -hmm. And I know that you and I probably have gone over this but a little bit uh, I was a little bit disappointed that Joel Edgerton got no nod. Uh, yeah, loving. I well, yeah. I think he did a good job. I think, um, I think the 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 way the wind was blowing, it was much more for Ruth Nega on that one. Okay. Because she was the one who, she she's the one who's been okay. picking up the okay, yeah. He got he got a Golden Globe knob, but he wasn't, he wasn't getting, he wasn't getting a ton of buzz. Okay. For that one, I wasn't surprised. I think he did a good job, but I wasn't surprised he was left off. The and list. and I would go along with your thinking about Paul Dano. Who I thought did a great yeah. job in Swiss Army, oh, yeah. but that's just way out there. That film was too far out of people's. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do they call it? their wheelhouse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and a couple of other actresses kept mm -hmm. check me out on this. Yeah. I kind of thought Emily Blunt might have had a chance. Yeah, because um, Girl on the Train. She got a little. She hasn't got a lot of traction. Again, part of it is, be, and and I think the hard part on that is, I mean, you got you look at a Portman, you got Huber, you got. Um, you know, in, in in the lineup for best best actress, uh, uh, Meryl Streep. I mean, you're you, you've got a lot of people on that list. Yeah. Uh, and he only had five, and that's 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 where I, I I find that hard to say. I mean, Girl on the Train. I don't think it was a big enough of a hit, and it wasn't as big enough of a critical hit. Yes. Um. Then there's so much that came out at the end, and such focus on, uh, Hubert. And and Portman. Yes, yes, yes. In the last couple months, and therefore Amy Adams really didn't have a chance of being on uh, well, for Arrival. And that's true. Well, part of it is I think people were a bit confused because you had Nocturnal Animals. Yes, we had two or three. I right. think the studio wanted Nocturnal Animals. She was going. I think she was throwing her weight behind Arrival, but Arrival got what like nine award nominations, <laughs> but not Best Actress. And like, um, you know, uh, La La Land I think is going to sweep everything except the acting. Yeah, right, and I'm. I don't believe that they're worthy of the mm. acting. I think the film is worthy of winning, but the, I, their acting to me, they're better. Like Casey Affleck, for yeah. instance, is better. Oh yeah, who pair is better. Um, I I think I think Emma Stone was very good in that movie. I thought she did a great job of acting, especially in the audition. So, right. um, but she's up against some real heavy hitters. So yes. again, it's not it's it's not like um, she did a bad job. And supporting supporting actresses. Yeah. Here's a couple, Kev, that I think really... <clears throat> here are a couple really ignored. Laura Dern in Certain Women. Yeah. And Kristen Stewart in Certain Women. I think that one was so under the radar. It was. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's much of what we're talking about is the fact that people have not seen mm -hmm. these movies. Because if they had... These people would have had a much better chance. Well, and here's something that's interesting that I've noticed this year, with the exception of something like Lion, which has gotten a couple things, and like like uh, uh, Nicole Kidman. I don't know if she's worthy of that nomination. Okay. That's what I think somebody else could have taken that one. Okay. But um, aside from that, is there really anything from the Weinstein's? There was a time five years ago oh, they were, where the yeah. Weinstein's just anointed the winner of everything. Well, do you think Harvey was even? Energized this year? I don't think. So. I mean, they did no, nothing. For, they did nothing for for the founder, uh -huh. and they really didn't have much out there, aside from Lion, which Lion got a lot of stuff. 
yeah. in terms of nominations, but I don't think it's the best movie. So so it's just odd right. to see, and, and, and so then you've got these, usually that's the small studio that does it. So A24, I don't think they've got everything together for that yet, which is okay. why you're, you're missing a little bit of traction for 20th Century Women. Right. And I think, did they also do Certain Women? It was another, or Roadside, or somebody did. A small group did small, that. Yeah. yeah. And they're not equipped to promote I the way so. Harvey is? Yeah. Well, yeah. Harvey's so plugged in. <laughs> and A24 runs into the, the struggles of having such a weird lineup, because that's the one that did, you know, Swiss Army Man mm -hmm. and The Witch. So they do have always these genre things as well that balance out their award stuff. <laughs> Kevin Carr. We are. We have a month to go <laughs> before we can perhaps weigh in on the winners. But I think you're right. We may not even need a show on the winners because we're already. I should just write them down. I know you should just write them down. And I think you're. And one of the reasons I'd add to yours about this year is that I think we've had some really good films. We've had some. We've had a year that's really had spread out the good films. It, it, I, I don't disagree with most of the nominations. <laughs> no, it's just right. they're not all that surprising. <laughs> all right. See you, everybody, in February. Try to remain sane. <laughs> <laughs>